Hello boys and girls, this is Shenner with Crusader Kings 2. Just hopping in for a quick update here. Let me show you what's been going on. I've played uh, about 80 years, maybe 85 years, uh, beyond the last save. And I was doing it just as... Um, uh, I wanted to see how we could continue our dynasty. So what I wound up doing was absolutely nothing. We had a daughter and we're not allowed to have daughters inherit stuff. So I was panicking. I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? What do I do? People were making suggestions like kill your wife. And I'm like, you know, like if you get in, if you get a night, cause our wife was 45, get a younger wife, you might have, you have a chance of having a son, right? Well, what I did was nothing because uh, I just let the game run for a bit. My daughter came of age, and she had a son. And because I had done a matrilineal marriage, my daughter's son became my heir, which was fantastic. It all worked out. Everything was fine. So let me tell you what's been going on in the last 80 years. First and foremost, England led a successful crusade and took Jerusalem. So... High five, England. That's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, it sucks for us because they took that land from the Shia Caliphate, and we are a big part of the Shia Caliphate. But, you know, whatever. It's not the end of the world. So here we are in the year 1167. We are Sultan Malik I of Abyssinia. We are Shiites, of course. Uh, we currently hold the Sultanate of Abyssinia, which is the Kingdom of Abyssinia. We also have the Emirate of Aksum, which was our original ducal claim, Aksum. Also have the Emirate of Sana, which is this chunk over here. And we have the Emirate of Gondor, which is this chunk down here. So we have three duchies and a kingdom under our control. We're doing fan-freaking-tastic. What I've been doing mostly is spending money to upgrade our regions to include a second castle. So Adwa now has a second castle, and we also added a city. And we've done this on a couple different places, uh, like another castle, another city. Uh, over here, Sanaa, they had already done this. They had another castle, two more castles. So when we get the money, oh, we've already done it. We've already spent the money for another city over here. But yeah. And the whole point of it is the, the more of these fun little buildings you build is the more income you get and the more levies you can raise, which is great because, you know, we can raise levies up to 7,000 of our personal levies. And then from the domain, we c I mean, from our domain, and then from vassals, we can raise another 7,000. So we can get 14,000 dudes just from what we have now. And because we're the right religion, because we're Shia now, guess what? We can do mercenaries. So we're not... We're not boxed in like we were when we were um, uh, Christianity, when we were what was called monophysite. We still have one region that's monophysite. Here we go. Monophysite. Uh, if we look at the religion thing, you see we've converted everything except this last little place. Are we converting it right now? No, we can't because our, our religious guy is leading troops right now, so we can't... Uh, can't convert because he's busy. When you're leading troops, you can't do anything with that guy. But that's fine. So here's what the world map looks like. Well, not world map, but here's what the map looks like. Norway has won some wars, uh, mainly against these people over here, but they look like they've pushed into Sweden slightly as well. England uh, has taken some of Wales. Ireland has united into a kingdom. Scotland has taken Ulster. That's kind of cool. Just some neat things going on. France lost some land to Genoa down here. Uh, they also lost Flanders. But they did gain this area, Galicia. Aragon and Barcelona look good. Castile looks great. Mauritania looks good. Genoa has taken a large part of northern Africa. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Barcelona has as well. Sicily formed. That's cool. Are they uh, Catholic or Muslim? They're Catholic. All right, cool. Wow, that's a beard. Damn. 
King William I of Sicily. That's a fucking beard. Croatia and Hungary look healthy. Russia looks amazing. So, nice. Good job, Russia. Who's this? Upland. Really? So part of Sweden has taken over part of the Baltic. The Holy Romans have part of the Baltic. Poland is slowly getting absorbed. Uh, I think we I think we saw this really early on. Uh, the king of Bohemia marched into Poland and took some land. Alania exists. The Byzantines have expanded into uh, the steppes up here. I guess it's not the steppes really. It's Ukraine, but whatever. And besides that, uh, the Shia Caliphate has stayed about the same. Celtic Turks have stayed about the same. Not a whole lot going on down here. But yeah, we've had a lot of prosperity, and right now, because we have the Kingdom of Abyssinia uh, as our title, and we also have the Emirate of Sana'a as our title, we're able to press claims. So we can press claims for all these provinces, and all these provinces. You have to do them one at a time, though, because the same douchebag owns all of them, so... We took uh, Taj Dura last time, so next up will be Harer or or Baida, whichever one we feel like. But yeah, so that's what we've been doing the last 80 years. Now, I'm not going to play on from this point for the Let's Play. I just wanted to do this as a proof of concept to myself that I could uh, continue on this campaign. I was worried at the start because we were having trouble with our dynasty and especially there at the very end when we converted to Shiite and I was panicking because we didn't have a son. But hey, everything worked out. So hopefully I can duplicate similar results and uh, we can have a party as, uh, as uh, a sultan in the Shia Caliphate. Now one thing I have not been able to figure out yet is how do we become uh, part of the consideration for the control of Shia Caliphate. That would be awesome if we could become uh, the the uh, Caliph. I mean, they don't call it Emperor, they call it Caliph. We could, if we could become the Caliph, that'd be just freaking awesome. But I don't know how to do that yet. So, I don't know. I don't plan on playing this on from this point at all. I just had fun getting here, and I thought it was really cool that we were able to manipulate our family tree and marriages and uh, our dynasty to the point where we were getting, um, if not sons, then we would get grandchildren who would carry on. Like right now we have a daughter who's our personal heir, but she won't get any of our titles for provinces. However, when she comes of age, she's only seven, we're only, we're only 26, so we could still have a son. Uh, but if we don't, then when she comes of age, she'll probably have a son and we'll be fine. And if not, then maybe we'll have another daughter. Maybe we could uh, uh, we could name our, one of our brothers here as uh, as our heir, and that'll work. That'll work fine right now because we can just nominate, you know, whoever we want. And we have one, two, three, four brothers who we can nominate right now, and they're all pretty good. The reason I picked Malik as the current leader. He was, I think, the third son we had from the last guy. This is this is our last guy, Sultan Berta the second, and this guy was a second son as well. We weren't we weren't nominating um, the firstborn because a lot of them had bad traits. This guy, on the other hand, had some good traits. He had brave, patient, temperate, and then he had some bad traits like uh, shy, envious. Well, he didn't have ill. Ill is what killed him. But he had a couple bad traits, and he had a couple good traits. So we chose him over his siblings. Like, he had... Uh, this guy was the firstborn, Hagos. And he was, let's see, craven, paranoid, patient, cynical, content. He just had... He was just very mediocre. So I, I chose the, uh, the better option. And the same thing with Malik here. Malik was the third son. But when he was growing up, he gained all these good traits. Diligent, brave, just, kind, zealous, gregarious. He gained all of these before he became the sultan. So we made him our choice instead of... Let's see, where's the firstborn? Here's the firstborn, Salim. Instead of Salim. You know, Salim's good. He's charitable. He's deceitful. That's not good. He's humble. 
you know, he's okay. He just didn't really gain that many traits, and his stats were very lopsided. He was very uh, uh, learning-oriented, which is fine, but he wasn't very good uh, martial or intrigue. Whereas the guy we chose is pretty balanced, and the only thing that sucks is intrigue. So I figured he had better stats over here and better uh, uh, modifiers, so we went with him rather than the other guys. But if we don't have a son and we don't have a grandson, then we can always just nominate one of our other brothers, which is fine. That'll work. That'll work just fine. So I'm more confident that we can make this work as uh, the original Duchy of Axum. Uh, the only thing that I don't like is we have to be Muslim because mercenaries really are the the be-all, end-all for this region of the world. Really, really for, I guess, the way I play the game, you really have to have mercenaries. I don't play the game with just levies because a lot of times like this, look, our levies are really depleted. So if I raised them now, you'd only have 7,500 total rather than 4,000 total. So that's when you need to have mercenaries on your side so to fill those holes, because that's a, that's a pretty glaring hole. Anyway, I just wanted to tune you guys in so you could see what was, what was going on. This took, I guess, about five hours, I think. Man, I could have been doing so much stuff today, but I figured I should play this and see if I could make it work as a, as a Muslim nation. And it works just fine. Uh, it's a little tricky to get uh, the hang of, but, you know, after a few stumbles, a few problems on my end, just because I wasn't understanding uh, what was going on, after all that, it was fine. So, yeah, uh, this is just a, a quick update here. It has nothing to do with the Let's Play itself. It's just a, a possible future. Like, this is something we could work towards, because I think we did really fucking well. I mean, amazingly well. We've built up these regions, uh, tons of upgrades we've done here and here and here and here. These are our, our four main provinces. And then when we took over uh, the Emirate of Gondor, I guess it was the Duchy at the time, when we took over the Duchy of Gondor, uh, this province we also upgraded quite a bit. So, you know, I, I, we did really well. We, we came into a lot of money. We're still, we're, look at that, we're making 16.3 per month. That's amazing. That's because of all the building we've been doing. So, you know, we've been partially peaceful, partially warlike, but this is a future that we could look forward to and say that would be a nice target to have. So anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, little glimpse into the future. And it'd be nice if we'd be able to get to this point in the actual Let's Play, because it's great. Let me tell you, it's it's easy right now. The only part that we had any trouble with was fighting off the English, which we we failed to, because the, the la they, they did like three crusades, and on the third crusade, they brought over 35,000 guys, and I just said, fuck it. I just, I didn't even raise my troops. I didn't even bother going up there. There was no chance. We weren't going to be able to kill 35,000 guys. I just said, fuck it. But, you know, we'll... we'll We'll see what happens in the Let's Play. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, join us next time, where we'll be back to where we left off, which was, I believe, uh, 11... I mean, not 1180. It was 1080, I think, the year that we left off. So we'll be back to 1080, and uh, I will just... I will do the same thing I did in, in this right here. I'll just relax. I'll let my daughter have a son. And if she doesn't have a son, then I'll kill my wife and get a new wife. I mean, there's, there's ways around it. So we'll, we'll figure something out. Anyway, see you guys then. This is Shenra signing off.